Okay, so real briefly, I just want to talk about how badly OBM seems to handle skews and super elevation. Based on how OBM handles alignment and the definition of your bridge, let's say that just for argument that right here at this panel of my approach slab, and cutting at a right angle to my alignment, so just coming right along this PC line. I have a full super here, and then it starts a transition just inside that, that line, or just from this peak straight over. If I break my deck up into these three different panels of approach slab, now just looking at the middle approach slab, and I've got a, a transition that starts right here, but it's full super down here, transition starts here and on across the bridge. When I try to apply that transition to the center panel, the panel knows that it starts right here at profile grade and this station of that profile grade. You'll see that this corner of the middle center panel of the approach slab, it doesn't even know that this station out here exists. So if your lane, if your shoulder has a transition in this small area, it doesn't know that for this outside edge of this shoulder, it doesn't know that this station exists. That's how your super for elevation file is going to define it is that it starts at this station. This shoulder line does not know that station exists, so it just won't apply it. Um, it's unable to because it, it can't, it knows that its station stops right here. And it doesn't, it just blows, it doesn't blow up, it just says, oh, that station doesn't exist, so I'm just going to stay at whatever I started at here. It won't transition. So in those cases, if road ends up putting a super elevation onto an approach slab, which has occurred on occasion, even that if it's super elevated or it's going through transition here and then it's a constant slope across the bridge, again, it just won't apply it to the center panel if this is where the transition ends and the constant starts. It doesn't know what to do with it. So my advice is to encourage if if bridge design will be doing will be modeling the approach slabs the way we have been doing it for our road section. I would encourage you to a discussion needs to be had between road and bridge in that if you're going to transition, it needs to stop before the approach slabs so that the whole panel knows what it's doing. The other way around it is just that instead of having three separate panels, you would just define this, this approach deck, this approach slab, as extending from this point right here all the way to the back of the abutment as a solid approach slab. Then it will know that this station exists, unlike this center panel. It'll know that this station exists across the length of that approach slab along profile grade. It includes all the stations it needs, so it's able to apply it across a large block placed as the approach slab, but then you don't have your option of, of breaking your your 13-foot approach slab and the second panel to create the membrane sealant gap. So it wouldn't be perfectly accurate. You wouldn't see these breaks in your pavement from above in the in the textured model. And I'll just say that it's it's tough. OBM trying to deal with skews, it it just does not do a good job yet. And I hope it's something that they work on because 
skewed bridges are a fairly common thing that need to occur. So that's my short soapbox about skews and super elevations. Uh, it is definitely best to just keep transitions, keep different definitions of super elevation shapes off the approach slab if Bridge is going to be modeling those. Okay, thank you.